you go above the pan pot. Most of them have some sends where you can actually have sub separate outputs, sub mixes, and sends that go out of your mixer. And so you can actually dedicate that channel to go to separate outputs on the back of the mixer. If you want to feed a specific thing to it for a specific pur purpose, you can use a send. You can also feed it to sub mixers. Like I'm talking, I've been talking about your main output stereo. You have a mono output of your mixer board, a stereo right left output of your mixer board. You have sub mix that's coming out of the right side of your mixer board. And then what you'll have is sends where you can actually take that channel and send it to uh, another area. And also there's little push buttons on your, by your slider pot usually that will actually send that, send that signal from that channel to your, uh, sends or to right left or to mono and those little put push buttons have to be turned on for that signal to leave that that channel to go to your output section and you go on up from your sends then you go to your equalizer usually most of these boards have like a three uh, stages of equalization maybe four or some of them have a, a low frequency uh, pot little little turn pot and it may even be variable in range and so you can adjust the low frequencies then you adjust the mid frequencies and you adjust the high frequencies to, to sort of uh, sweeten the audio that's coming out of that particular channel, okay? And that's, that's one channel. And you take all the channels from left to right and they all usually have the same functionality where you can do your panning, you can do your sweetening with uh, your, 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 you know, adjusting your frequencies, uh, your frequency response and adjusting the treble, the bass, and the mid-range coming out of that channel. Uh, but then uh, you get over to the right side of it, of the mixer, you might have an, e uh, an effects channel, something that can put in echoes or whatever effects you wanna add in you so you can loop your signals through your effects. You can then also, you also have your submix groups and like it might be A, B, C, or one, two, three, and those are feeding to specific outputs on the back of your mixer. And those outputs can be taken at those points and used for, for determined purposes. And then you have your, uh, and, and what would be a purpose be for a submix? Well, there's a term we use called mix minus, okay? Let's say you have a bunch of people, uh, or you're, you're listening, they're listening on a telephone, or you have a, someone talking in a reinforcement situation where the audio is being reinforced in the room, you want to avoid feedback. And so let's say you have someone that has a speaker right in front of them. They're, they're speaking at an event and they have a speaker. And that speaker is feeding uh, them program, well not program, but audio from the mixer. But, the, but they have a microphone right next to them. Well, you don't want the audio from that speaker going to that microphone causing feedback. And so for that person that's sitting at a location with a microphone right next to a speaker, you would do something called a mix minus. And what a mix minus would be in that case would be the entire mix that's coming off the board minus the microphone that they are talking into. So there's no direct feedback loop from that microphone to that signal. That's a mix minus. Lots of times when you're sending people uh, a telephone signal and they're talking to you over the telephone, you want to minus them from what they hear. They need to hear everybody else talking, but they don't need to hear themselves. That's a mix minus. And so sometimes you may have a IFB system. An IFB system is when there's a talent sitting in the studio and they have a little uh, headphone and they're listening to a remote signal from someone at the other end of a conversation, or maybe the director is giving them information in their ear. Well, of course, they don't need to hear themselves talk. It can be very, very distracting. And also, if they're talking and then it goes out on a satellite and it comes back again, what happens is there's a substantial delay. And so then they hear themselves on a delay, which can confuse them to the point where they can't talk. And so we do a minus, a mix minus on them feeding to the IFB where they hear what they need to hear but they don't hear themselves or something that would confuse them. And so that's, the, that's another function of mix minus running through your mixer board. Um, and you know what I'm thinking of when you, when you have like a, a, a talent sitting in a studio and there's a, 
there's a uh, person that's called in on a, on a telephone. The talent needs to hear the telephone, okay? But the talent doesn't need to hear everything else going on in the audio chain. And so then they can, they can actually talk, hear the telephone conversation, talk to the person on the telephone. The telephone person doesn't need to hear themselves. They just need to hear the person that's talking to them. And so you do a mix minus settings on your mixer board to prevent them from hearing themselves, but they can hear each other. And so there's a lot to that, setting up your little push buttons and your, and your, 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 your groups where you can do a mix minus where the right signals get to the right place for the right situation. Um, and so, you know, and then you get over to the far right of the mixer, you'll see your, your groups, one, two, three, and then you'll see your uh, stereo out, and then you'll see your, your mono out. And those have to be configured to your infrastructure to where it all can be utilized to do the various functions you need to do. If you need to have someone talking to you on a telos, that's a, that's a telephone interface device, then it can be fed into your mixer, and then, and then the signal can be processed correctly. Also, you may have a routing switcher in your infrastructure, and your routing switcher may be feeding a lot of your input of your mixer board, so you've got to then route, then mix. And so that, that's a lot of work to get that planned out where it works correctly in broadcast engineering. And so that covers audio mixer boards. 